Hello everyone, this is Stunt to Collect here with another action figure review, and here we're going to build uh, the Watcher from the What If series. Uh, we already went through all these figures here with the Wave, uh, which came with the Doctor Strange Supreme, Captain Carter, Heist Nebula, Zombie Captain America, Starlet Chitala, Sylvie, and Zombie Hunter Spidey. Uh, so let's start with the Torso first, which came with uh, Heist Nebula. So the first thing that you want to do is probably go with the lower torso here uh, for the watcher, which has this like little slot here, whereas the back doesn't. And I think in the robe here, you can kind of see there's like that little slot piece there and uh, hiding there. So it uh, looks like it's right here. So you just kind of want to try to slide that in as best you can and then kind of grab this one and I guess or maybe no that's not how you want to do it so for the legs actually for this you want to use do the legs first so grab the bottom torso and then grab the legs so right now I'm first doing the watcher's right leg from zombie hunter spadey just kind of pop that in just like that boom and then grab this leg from Doctor Strange Supreme and pop that in also. Bam. Just like that. And that's what it looks like. And I kind of do do what I just tried doing. Uh, now you have like a little bit of leverage to hold there. Kind of just grab the top torso and kind of like pop it in. I may have to do this off camera. So give me one second here. Or maybe I could try to do this, use the table. <sighs> I think you got it. I wish I could hear a pop, but I don't. So I hope this is good enough there. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. Uh, so next we'll, we will do the arms uh, because the cape just kind of goes over the shoulders. So both of the arms came with Captain Carter. So here's this one for his left arm. Should just kind of pop in. There we go, kind of a slight pop. And then here's the other arm here that also came with Captain Carter. I think it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. So yeah, there's that. And then uh, we will grab this piece, which also came with the Heist Nebula for the rest of the torso. And there's this little peg or whatever you want to call it. And this just kind of plugs in there like that. And then grab the cape from Sylvie. Kind of just drape it right on top if you can just like that boom and then grab the head from Starla Chala and pop that bad boy on which was not too hard and then boom that is the watcher for you so let's go over the looks for him real quick so for the head here you get this like tan here which is nice you get the white eyes you get the big baby head uh it's really tanned skin tone so it's really cool and you get some wash in there to give it more depth in the face i guess uh, and then you get this gold chest piece here you get the robe with one long sleeve here and then you get like an open hand for him and then you get this like a little collar piece that goes on this back you get the cape here, which is kind of soft, but it's not as soft good like an actual cloth. Uh, you get some texturing in there. Uh, you get the light blue uh, throughout the entire figure. It's the same blue except for the inner part of the cape, which is a darker blue. Like I said, you get some nice texturing in there. And then you get like this little skirt piece that, for the robe, like I said. And then, yeah, the gold piece. 
get some gold bracelets for them. And they keep the nice tan skin tone throughout the arms and the legs here. And it kind of looked like he was wearing underwear underneath there. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. And then, like I said, you get the skirt piece with a darker blue, I guess, as you keep going down the robe. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person you can kind of see it. Uh, but, yeah. And then, like I said, the longer sleeve here, it kind of gets loose here. So, but, yeah. Let's go over your articulation for him. So, he's a double ball-jointed head. That lets him go down that far, up that far. You look left and right. Lots of head pivoting there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows for this side. This one's single jointed because of that, you know, long weird sleeve there. Wrist can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so you can go forward that much, backwards that much, side to side. A little bit of twisting in there. Uh, legs. You can't really do much with because of the robe piece, so you can't really kick out or forward or anything like that. He does have a thigh cut in there, like you saw. He also has double jointed knees, which you can't really do much with anyways. Uh, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and some ankle pivot. And here is the watcher right next to all scaled up with all the other figures in the wave. I think this is a real cool figure if you want to do a cool MCU multiverse shelf, which I'm planning on doing. Um, even though he doesn't have a lot of articulation, he basically just watched the entire time. That's basically his purpose until the very end of the season where he basically intervenes or he had to. So, uh, but yeah, I would say I, like all the figures in this wave is pretty cool. Um, I would say the Nebula one is kind of just your preference if you want to finish the figure, uh, the build a figure. Uh, but if you're not planning on doing that, I think Nebula is kind of like a, if you like Nebula, sure, go ahead and grab her if you don't have a Nebula figure, but Watcher, I kind of, I don't have a Watcher figure, so I kind of wanted to build it, so I grabbed Nebula, but all the other figures in the wave are awesome, so I really, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't be able to finish it, uh, besides that Nebula figure, uh, but yeah, this is a really cool figure, I highly recommend you try to build them. Um, you know, the articulation for the legs are just kind of crap, so he's going to be standing straight up anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for this figure. Make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description. It has my TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and PayPal if you want to help out with the channel if you'd like. But besides that, thanks for watching. <laughs>